And we are tracking breaking news as we come on the air right now. Dozens of protesters are now gathering at the Orient Road Jail in Hillsborough County. This after 10 people were arrested for refusing to leave a pro-Palestinian protest at the University of South Florida in Tampa. It happened shortly after 5 this evening. Right now, the protest is peaceful. But earlier today, demonstrators clashed with law enforcement at MLK Plaza. You have been given a lawful order to disperse. You have refused to follow this lawful order. At this time, please consider yourself under arrest for refusing to disperse. You just saw the moments before authorities moved in on the pro-Palestinian protesters. Law enforcement gave them a 15-minute warning to disperse before deploying tear gas on the group that remained. That's when the 10 people were arrested. 10 Tampa Bay's Miguel Octavio was at MLK Plaza earlier this evening and is now at the Orient Road Jail. And Miguel, dozens of people are now calling for the release of all those arrested. Dave, hours ago, we caught up with some of those protesters denouncing those arrests. They said they had the right to protest on campus, but this all ended with some of them on the ground with handcuffs and police deploying tear gas. A commotion in the middle of campus. Protesters calling to support Palestinians dashed off after repeated warnings from law enforcement. This assembly has been declared an unlawful assembly. Some of them on the ground as authorities put them in handcuffs. And I'm just so angry that, that this, that protesting a genocide, this calls for the police. Demonstrators came to campus earlier in the day. And we have to show solidarity to the utmost extreme. Like others nationwide, they want schools to call for a ceasefire in Gaza and to divest from Israel. I, I am absolutely disgusted by the actions of USF. Student Isha Moda was part of the protest. Still, none of this compares to the life of the average person in Gaza, the average child in Gaza who is starving, who is so hungry for food and their mothers and their fathers cannot feed them. University of South Florida values the right to free speech. Law enforcement eventually told protesters it had to end by a certain time. Another protester began handing out wooden shields and umbrellas. They used those wooden shields and umbrellas to fortify their uh, stance in the circle. And this time the protest was no longer peaceful. If you're out here peacefully pro protesting, why should you need shields and umbrellas? Now, just moments ago, we were able to identify one of the protesters arrested today, 39-year-old Atta Othman. You see him there right there on your screen. He's facing several charges tonight, including trespassing, unlawful assembly, and possession of a firearm on school property. So far, we're still working to find out just how many people from those 10 arrested are, in fact, students. The governor addressed those protests taking place nationwide today, saying people have the right to express themselves, but he says they're going too far. Miguel, you heard from a First Amendment expert on this. What did he share about the protests happening on the ground? Yeah, we spoke with Clay Calvert, professor emeritus at UF. He says that usually schools, public universities like USF does provide those First Amendment rights, but they don't protect the right to trespass. And he says schools can enforce time, manner and place locations in those situations as well. Take a listen. Both faculty, administration, and students need to understand that nothing is an absolute here, that there are limits to the right of free speech, there are limits to the right of protest. And I think that's important to understand that we should not be escalating these situations. And of course, those protesters disagree with how this was all handled. A number of them telling us they are ready to protest again on campus when the time permits. Reporting live from Tampa, Miguel Octavio, 10 Tampa Bay.